Oh, howdy all, grab yourselves a beer, it is time for some Path of Exile. Today I wanted to go through the newly released Eclipse Hideout, which is a cash store exclusive hideout uh, that costs 175 store points. So if you buy the points directly, it's $17.50 US, and if you were to get them as part of a supporter pack, generally speaking, you'll get something else with that, with that $17.50. Anyways, just having a look around, you'll notice first and foremost that it's pretty small. Most of it is contained in this inner area here, and I've left everything exactly in the default setup. Uh, so you've got the map device, you've got your stash tab very close by, you've got your waypoint conveniently close, uh, all the masters default to this spot, obviously in practice you'd move them. Uh, you'd want one of them to probably be somewhere like this so that you can conveniently access them during mapping for vendoring. And then you have this outer ring that is l not really functional. Uh, it kind of looks cool, and it is there in the uh, Act 8 zone that this is based off, so this is based off the final boss zone of Act 8. And as I just sort of run around, you'll get a sense that it's pretty much, uh, until you get to this point, you can traverse everywhere pretty conveniently. Uh, this spot is not convenient at all, uh, it is not connected across there. Uh, it's also disconnected here, so you'll see if I'm walking it's like that, but if I'm jumping, uh, let me just try that again. I'm jumping, uh, I can jump over this little obstacle. In any case, the outer area is not very practical, uh, but hey, it looks kind of cool. The key unique feature of this hideout uh, is the Eclipse Altar, and it's easiest to just demonstrate what it does. You'll notice that all the shadows change and the lighting changes. You go from nighttime to, uh, to daytime, uh, and then when you press it again, you'll go back to nighttime. Uh, the transition's kind of cool. Oh, actually, so it's a it's a multiple stop, so it's uh seems like it's night time to night time to dawn to full noon, I think. Slightly different to what I was thinking it was. So there's three phases. So that's full night, and there we are back to the start again. So night full full dark, which isn't overly dark. Uh, twilight and then full light. So I'll walk around and sh show it off in full light, and you'll see that you can see further out into the distance during the full light. Uh, it's a very similar tile set here to the Sunspire hideout, should you have got that when it was available in the Sunspire pack. And we'll just sort of zoom around again. Then we'll try it again once more in the intermediate stage. So full dark, which is where we started, and then we'll go to we'll go to dawn. According to Atsuri, that's a perfect time for a sacrifice. But I think she's pretty happy with them at noon and at midnight as well. Okay, so that's what it looks like. Uh, in terms of practicalities, I like condensed hideouts. Uh, I know a lot of people uh, really dislike the shaped hideout, which is my favourite one, uh, and they prefer the larger ones. Uh, you're just going to have to make up your own mind as to which you prefer. Uh, generally speaking, this isn't as cramped as the sunken hideout, which I do not recommend bothering with. Uh, that comes from the sunken city map. Uh, it is not as tightly packed as the as the brutal hideout, which comes from the tower map, uh, but it is fairly it is fairly condensed. Uh, I generally like this hideout. Uh, your opinion obviously is your own and may vary. Uh, I will probably go back to mostly using the shaped one, but I'll play around with this for a bit. Anyways, hope that was useful. Have a good one.